fish marinas with a uh, soft jerk bait like a yum Houdini shad, skipping them back up into the stalls and you know along the walkways. Uh, one of the things that, that over the years that I've found is one of the most important is you want to get your bait as far back into the back as you can. It seems like a lot of fish will kind of sit, live on that center walkway and if you can you know, every time I make a skip, my goal is to get my bait as far back and I'll and touch that center walkway. You know, and you almost have to, you know, as you're approaching a stall, kind of lead your cast and uh, kind of be down from it as you're making it because, you know, the distance that your rod is hanging over the front, that's what you're really lined up with. You know, when you get to a stall with these boats that are backed in they're always easier to skip because that front that V of the front almost acts like a funnel so that when you skip up there you know, it kind of grabs your bait and funnels it back toward that back versus you know when they drive in and you get the square back those are a little bit harder <laughs> oh, missed it. a little bite there but a lot of the big ones will be on that very back part of it as I get my bait to the front, I always like to let it hesitate and fall because a lot of these are built with either a bar or a cable across the front. And a lot of fish will hang on those as well. And I won't spend a lot of time with each stall, you know, usually if you're gonna, when you're going to catch one, it's going to be on the first or second cast that you make a good cast with and get it, you know, way back. Uh, it's a reaction by, you know, the, that first or second cast is gonna get it done for you. When you're making your skips, you know, I like to leave out about three or four foot of line to give you a little extra momentum to build up to, to get that power to go to get all the way back to the walkway and you know, do a, under, a big roll where you build up a lot of speed. Sometimes it also works well, you know, to help hold your bait up there is to drop a little drop of super glue, you know, onto the eye of the hook to hold that head up where, so it's not popping down as it's skipping. In my world, it's got a growl. In my world, it's got a purr. It's about raw horsepower. It's about refined horsepower. It's about sipping the gas and catching more bass. Give me the two-stroke direct injected Pro XS. I'll take the supercharged Pro four-stroke. Either way, you can't go wrong. So tell me, what kind of pro are you? Go to mercurymarine.com and take the online quiz to find the right pro for you.